Hi Taurus, this is Tiana from Inspired by Ease. Welcome to all the newbies that have reached, <laughs> that have subscribed lately. Um, we are doing something a little bit differently because I have gone through a major healing and I'm sorry that um, I'm a day or two late. Um, it was a bit more intense than I was expecting it to be, so I appreciate your patience. This, of course, is general. You can swap around the characters, and my readings aren't date-specific. I just put the uh, month and the year in the title just to help my little small channel get found. So please feel free to have a look back at my other readings I have done in the past, uh, especially if this week's reading doesn't resonate. Also, you can check out your moon and rising signs. And if you don't know them, you can go to cafeastrology.com. Um, and look up your natal chart. It's completely free. You just need to know the date of your, uh, the time of your birth and the location. Alrighty. So Taurus, what is going on with you this upcoming week? You have alchemy and remembrance. It's very it's very beautiful, very beautiful energy. So I'm getting the feeling that you are unlocking deep parts um, of information from your subconscious into the conscious and finding ways of, of melding and aligning this new information, whether it has to do with healing or your life purpose, just getting a clearer vision. We have, we do have fairies of the future here. So I think that there has been an unlo unlocking of some kind um, of some kind of information that's going to set you on a new set of railroad tracks in a perhaps completely different destination than maybe you anticipated and it's and it's going to be more authentic for you <clears throat> and it might have to do with melding and balancing the divine feminine and the divine masculine of balancing action taking and being receptive so there definitely is um i'm sensing that you have received you are in a receptive mode some kind of new information coming your way that I feel that was unlocked from deep within, not from above, but from deep within, that has given you some kind of new insight about where you are going. And maybe it has kind of changed. Uh, we have break the chain of pain. So yes, I definitely feel that that this is a healing of some kind. Um, you've got, you've gotten some kind of insight, Taurus, uh, from your subconscious on how to break this chain of pain, perhaps ancestral patterns, says healing and rewriting the future. And, and then we have fairies of the future. So definitely there is some kind of rewriting of the future here for you, Taurus, and maybe in a direction that you didn't expect. These cards are from the Activations Sacred Geometry Oracle card deck. Don't worry if these images don't quite make sense to you. This is just energetic medicine for you that is just coming through you from the screen. So there is a, a melding and a balancing and integration of some kind of information, like I've said, <laughs> for like the fifth time. I'm so sorry, Taurus. And... Definitely with this image, I, I often get, uh, you know, mechanical unlocking. So I definitely feel that this was information um, or a release of some kind that was perhaps you're dealing with suppressed memory, um, you know, uh, all sorts of all sorts of things, um, perhaps healing from from PTSD or depression or um, feeling gaslighted or scapegoated. Um, or any of those darker energies and getting more clarity about what really happened and the inner workings of it all and basically getting a clear image um, of what happened. And a lot of times the way to our healing is getting a clear chronological um, vision and handle on, on our childhood, you know? We have to go to that core wounding because everything after that is just a mirror. 
So if we can just get to that core wounding and heal and work with that inner child, not to fix anything, but just to integrate. The goal is always integration, right? So um, the more that we can heal and the more that we heal and integrate, it changes our whole point of attraction. It changes the whole trajectory of our future. So just by you doing this healing work, it is literally putting you on a whole new track, a whole new set of uh, train chain, <laughs> train tracks going in a completely different direction. So I really applaud you, Taurus. This is really amazing work. Um, I really get a sense that you are doing this with a lot of grace, uh, despite its its depth and intensity. Um, and so it's really interesting that in this alchemy card, it actually uh, mentions remembrance. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. Another word for that is transcending. So taking negative energy and healing it and turning it into positive energy, knowing that you are a magician knowing that you do have the power to, to create worlds, to create whatever it is that you want. And there, there might be an inner child somewhere in your consciousness um, that might feel not that way, that might feel powerless, that might feel scared. So there's definitely this theme here this week of, of, of integration and, and melding of two or three or more things here, Taurus. Um, so this is just really, really beautiful. I'll read Remembrance. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. And I also feel called to say that if you ever feel triggered, the trigger is actually the original feeling of the trauma. So, so what I was wanting to say was that... Um, your your soul actually holds all the memories, um, even from you know being inside the womb and being a, an absolute newborn. Those memories are there, and sometimes the core wounding can happen before we're even born, or it can happen um, during the birth process. And so it's all there for you. And if you want to, um, you know, really delve into trauma therapy, I can certainly help with that, okay? I don't just do card readings. I can do, um, you know, help with healing the past, help with healing a certain ailment in your body, um, you know, pretty much anything I can I can help with helping you manifest what it is that you want to manifest. All right, Torres, so you are doing really amazing work. So clearly um, you are, you know, like I said, putting yourself on a new set of train chat train tracks and putting yourself on a whole new trajectory of the future um a future that is more positive and more bright so this is just all really amazing so um paradoxically it's like you're going back into your subconscious perhaps you're going into the past to to bring a part of you into the present moment that's what integration is or a part of it so this is just really amazing Next up, we have the Bodacious Bodak, and to me, this can represent Shadow Father. So you perhaps might be doing healing around uh, a father figure or a father type figure, or just around uh, masculine energy in general, or this could just be, you know, how your inner child feels um, with, with all of this healing or just uh, an aspect of you. It doesn't have to be an inner child. It could just be an aspect of you um, that that is feeling on guard or scared, um, just like on edge, sleeping with one eye open kind of thing. Um, and I do get the sense that maybe this energy um, with the way that this all has happened, maybe it has felt unexpected, you know, falling through the roof. <laughs> um, and then just there it is. And you're just forced to, to deal with this, to deal with this energy. Um, it might be a little bit confusing, um, unclear, 
dealing dealing with shadows um, until just kind of searching around in the dark until you you get this clarity and you are going to get this clarity because we have the bright mother so a very nurturing loving all-encompassing energy um, that I think is working with with this energy that's helping you to heal so this might actually be a person or it could just be an energy or um, some events kind of lining up for you um, I do want to say divine intervention because of the one in the six up at the top um, so I and I am also this doesn't normally mean this but I am also getting unconditional love you might be dealing with a cancer or a water type energy um, because of the of the crescent moon here um, and and it's actually helping you to either this person is getting uh, receiving enlightenment in their crown chakra um, or or both of you are or you are um, but I do want to say that there is some kind of theme of of enlightenment in the crown chakra or um, a lightening of burdens and just more opportunities to flourish um, because this energy is getting discarded or it is, it is being transmuted. We do have the singer of transfiguration there. So, so this energy is being transmuted into something else. I don't want to say that this energy is being taken away, but it's being, it's being, tra if this represents shadow father, it is being transcended into divine father, which is a completely different energy, right? Okay. So next up we have Savanius. So definitely if you are feeling confused like you're kind of searching around in the dark there is it masks off so there and we do have another seven so more divine intervention here and a, and and this sword cutting through deception cutting through lies cutting through manipulation so um so like i was saying like if you are feeling confused like you are searching around in the dark um it's going to be temporary okay taurus because there is going to be um the mask the light is going to be turned on here and you're going to be able to see this really clearly for what it is. Um, and there's going to be a, a rooting that, that takes place. So if this energy represents for you, not, not feeling safe, feeling on guard, feeling unprotected, um, that sort of energy, you are, you are going to start feeling safe and rooted and protected and grounded and, um, at peace because this is, this is the energy that basically takes away all the things that are, are no longer authentic for you that no longer resonate with your truth and this this path that you're getting reset on and we do have Arvel the parrot so um, perhaps if this is an actual person in your life um, we do have shadow father with with the bright mother with the divine mother so it's very interesting energy so you might you might be speaking to this person um, this might be a person that you feel like you can freely talk to about all of this. And um, you on your you on your own, you're already experiencing some major changes, but I also feel that this energy or this person is helping you and is just intensifying this energy and is furthermore helping you to break the chain. To furthermore help you break the chain of pain which could very well be ancestral patterns and healing and rewriting the future like we said so um i am going to i'm this is just so fascinating so i would like to delve into this deeper and if you're interested in that the link will be down below until next time i am sending you so many blessings you are never ever ever alone and always be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and know that you are so, so loved. Bye. Take care.